<laughs> I'm hungry. So hungry. I can eat a whole horse by myself. <laughs> I bet. Hmm, speaking of dinner, I think it's Xion's turn to cook tonight, right? I believe so. Let's ask if she can get started sooner rather than later. If for no other reason than to settle Law down. Hmm? What? Something wrong? Hush. They sound quite excited about something. From what I've heard, a lot of people have been copying Kagari and Notio's wedding ceremony from last year. Yeah, it's a traditional Renan ceremony, but ever since they got married, it's gotten super popular, even among Danon couples. Uh, the whole thing was just so lovely. It was my first time attending a wedding, but I can definitely see the appeal. Lovely, yeah. Oh, and all the food they served was delicious, too. I know, there was so much food, but everything they served was carefully chosen. And you could taste the care put into every bite. And the flowers. The arrangement they chose for Kagari's bouquet was a perfect fit for her. Also, during the banquet after the ceremony, Kagari and Notia were telling me the whole story about how they found their new house. They said it was okay if it was simple and bare bones. They just wanted a warm place where they could spend their days together. I want that too. A joyous ceremony for a loving couple starting a new life together. <laughs> I guess dreams really can come true. It was a perfect day. <laughs> Sounds like someone may have been taking notes. N no, it's not like that. Anyway, Kisara, how about you? Me? Hmm. Well, I certainly don't think marriage is the most important thing in life. That said, I'll admit having a wedding ceremony does seem nice. Really? It sounds like you both feel the same way then. Oh, speaking of which, Hisara, do you remember what you said at Kagari and Notio's ceremony? About the bouquet toss? You mean how if you can't catch a bouquet, you'll end up always being single and alone? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. As it turns out, that isn't true at all. What? It isn't? Apparently not. I actually just found out recently myself. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned it without checking first. This is quite an interesting conversation. In more ways than one. Seriously? Who cares about weddings and all that kind of stuff? Let's go already! I'm starving! If we must. Personally, I feel it's rather boorish of you to spoil their fun. Hey! You guys talking about weddings? Oh, you three are finally back. Yeah, it turns out weddings are all the rage these days. I have heard the same. There is no denying that Notio and Kagari's ceremony was a delightful occasion, filled with warmth and understanding. That's for sure. Even after the ceremony was over, Xion just kept going on and on about how nice it had been. I... I don't know about that. Really? I guess I never realized. Law must be misremembering, that's all. <laughs> anyway, I've got a dinner to make. Seems like it's a bit of a touchy subject for her. It would probably be best not to press her on it. <sighs> what is it, Alpin? Is something the matter? No, sorry, I... I'm just realizing that there's so much I don't know. I had no idea that weddings were popular, that Xion was so interested in them any of it. Don't let it get to you. Paying attention to such things is simply not in your nature. Damn, Doholim. Are you trying to cheer the poor guy up or rub salt in the wound? No, it's fine, Law. Doholim is right. Still, it's something I need to work on. Otherwise, it could get me into real trouble in the future. Maybe someday I'll, uh, find someone I want to marry. If my bride is someone who cares deeply about the wedding ceremony, then that means it should be important to me, too. I don't want to use my own ignorance as an excuse to make my bride-to-be do all the planning. That would be a huge burden for one person to carry, right? That may be the case, but I'm still not sure what you're getting at. I just think that it's important to know about weddings. Not only weddings, but marriage in general. I need to learn more about them so I can be prepared. I want to do some research and fill in the gaps in my knowledge. That way, I'll have the confidence to help out and make informed decisions when the time comes. But I've never done something like this before. 
I have no idea where to even begin. So... You're saying you want us to help you out? You got it! To be honest, I don't really know that much about the subject myself, though. Thanks, Law. Oh, speaking of which, you should definitely make sure to ask Xion for help. There's probably nothing about nuptials that she doesn't know. No. Sorry, but I, uh, want to keep this a secret from her. Because, um, I'm doing this for my own benefit. So I want to do as much of it as possible on my own, without being a burden on anyone else. I realize I'm asking for some assistance from all of you guys, but I don't want to bother Xion with this. If I did, then I'd end up relying on her too much. I really want to avoid that. So, I want to do this research, but I also want to keep Xion from finding out about it. Can you help me? Whoa, that was a whole lot of words. But I think I get what you're trying to say. You could have just said you don't want to cause trouble by not knowing anything, because you finally decided you want to marry Xion. Ow! You need to work on your filter law. You don't have to say every thought that pops into your head. You aren't a little kid, are you? Ah! Oh. Sorry. My, my. Those growing pains can sure pack a wallop. At any rate, I think I speak for all of us when I say we are sympathetic to your cause. We shall assist in your research and keep it to ourselves. You should go about this endeavor in your own way. If you do not wish to involve Xion at this time, then so be it. But be mindful that should she find out, you'll likely need to explain all of this to her. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble one. I'm rooting for you, Alfin. Thanks, all of you. I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to gather as much info as I can. So, Alfin, what kind of information are you after first? What's the most important thing to know about weddings? Hmm... Flowers, maybe? You know, Xion was saying something about bouquets. What was that, Rinwell? Uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I agree, though. Flowers that match the bride are a must. They are, right? By the way, will our cover be okay? I don't want Xion to know what I'm up to. We're good. Kisara's on Xion distraction duty, so we should have plenty of time. We'll make sure Xion keeps busy while you're gathering information. That way you should be able to keep it a secret from her. Thanks. I don't mean to cause trouble for everyone just because of some weird whim of mine. We don't mind, but be sure to explain everything to Xion at some point. So, you need info on flowers. What do you want to know exactly? What kind of flowers are best for a wedding? If there are any special kinds you need, that kind of thing. White's the best color, right? Hmm. I think you should talk to an expert on the subject. Anyone come to mind? Well, I don't know how much he knows about flowers, but Mahavar sailed around the world. Maybe somewhere on his travels he picked up some knowledge about Flora. He's taken us out on his ship lots of times, starting with our pursuit of Almadria. He's in Thessalon now, right? I'm pretty sure that's what Dohalim said. Let's go see if he can help. I was able to distract Xion. I hope she doesn't suspect anything. That's great, Kisara. The way forward is clear now, thanks to you. Yeah! Let's hurry and go ask Mahavar about the flowers! Mahavar, uh, can we have a minute? Oh, Alfin! How you been? What's with the serious face? I've come to glean some of your worldly knowledge. Do you know what kind of flowers are best suited for a wedding ceremony? F flowers? For a wedding? Yeah. Do they need to be a special kind? Any practical information you have would be helpful. I think some kind of pretty white flowers would be best. Whoa there, hold on just a minute. I'm glad you thought of me for advice, but... You know, I'm not really the flower type. Oh, can't you remember anything? It's super important. If the flowers are for a wedding, then... 
Why not just use whatever kind of flowers the bride and groom both like? Hmm, there's no particular type that I like. Heck, I barely even know the names of any flowers. Wait, Elfin, it's your... Ah, uh, I think I get it now. In that case, I'll give it some more thought. Hmm, maybe... Nah, that's all wrong. Oh! There's a Calaglian legend that's perfect for this kind of thing. A legend? Yeah, they say there's a rare flower that grows only in Calaglia. The legend goes that if you wear it, you'll be happy forever. Really? I never heard that one. Now that you mention it, I think I read about that flower before. If you ask the Calaglians, I'm sure they could tell you more. Then it's probably quickest to ask the Crimson Crows for info. Thanks, Mahavar. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Same goes for you. I won't press you for details on your plans, but good luck. Thanks. See you around. A flower that makes you happy when you wear it. What a beautiful legend for Calaglia to have. It may be difficult tracking down real information about the legend, though. It sounds more like an ancient fairy tale. We'll have better luck if we ask people in the area where the flower can be found. Tilsa, I didn't know you'd come back here. Yeah, I switch off between here and Pelagian. What's with you, Elfin? You in some kind of trouble? No, not exactly. I'm... Looking for a certain flower. I heard that a flower that makes you happy when you wear it grows around here. A flower that what? It sounds like crazy talk. It's supposed to be rare and only grows in Calaglia. You haven't heard of it? Rare, huh? It could be that one flower. You know, the white one that grows in the Iglia wastes. Oh, that one. I've certainly never seen it anywhere else, but I didn't know it had that kind of legend attached to it. So, why do you need this flower that makes you happy, anyway? I'm, uh, doing some research on wedding ceremonies. I don't know anything about them, so I thought I'd start by looking into bouquets. In my research, I heard about a perfect flower that grows in Calaglia, so I decided to track it down. I see. Wedding ceremonies, huh? If you're looking into that kind of thing, I assume you... You've got your reasons, right, Alfin? I wish nothing but the best for you. However, the area where that flower grows has been full of zoogles recently. They may have trampled all the flowers fled. Guess we'll just have to go and see. Thank you for all the information. Hang on, why are Tilsa and Nath grinning like fools? You figure it out. You think maybe he wants the flowers to make a bouquet? To give to someone? You mean, Alfin? You planning on making someone special the happiest woman in the world? Wait a minute, I never said anything like that. I'm simply trying to learn more about weddings. You traitor! I'm supposed to be the first, then it's your turn! No, you're misunderstanding. It's really not like that. Nath, back me up here. If we're jumping to conclusions, then just ignore that ignoramus and go off to find the flowers. But be careful. Thanks. I appreciate it. Wait, Alfin! Ah, damn it! Let's head to the Iglia Wastes. We might get to see the actual flowers we could use in a bouquet up close and personal. Right. I just hope Zoogles haven't destroyed them. They really are beautiful flowers. But they've all been trampled, like we feared. There are a few that aren't harmed. So these are the flowers that can make you happy. Got it. Learn something new. It was nice to see the real thing. Since we took care of the zoogles that trampled them, they should grow back soon. You're right. If someone wants them for a wedding bouquet, they'll probably be able to pick some here. Though it may take a while for enough to bloom for a whole bouquet. <sighs> something wrong, Rinwa? It's nothing. I just had a... lonely thought. Lonely? What thought? I was imagining your wedding. Your bride might be... someone very close to me. A dear friend. This was just a thought, remember? 
But if it is someone like that, I'd naturally be overjoyed for two people I love. But at the same time, I'd probably feel a little like I was losing my closest friend. Then well. Alfin, if it does turn out that way, you have to promise me you'll take care of her forever. <laughs> Look at me. I can't even picture it without welling up. Rinwell, I haven't made any decisions about my future, so you should put thoughts like that out of your head. But you really care about that friend of yours, don't you? I'm sure if this friend heard what you just told me, she'd be very happy. I feel like I should thank you. Thanks, Rinwell. You're welcome. Ugh. I'm sorry for wasting your time with my crazy thoughts. No, it's okay. Oh, and I had another idea. When a bride throws the bouquet, only one person can catch it, right? I always thought that was unfair. Maybe you can do something about that. Like, give one flower to each person or something. Isn't throwing the bouquet part of the fun? If you hand out flowers instead, then won't some people be disappointed? You may be right. Maybe there's some other way. What do you think, Hoodle? Help! Hoodle and I will talk it over. If we come up with something good, then maybe it'll take off. I think we could discuss that bouquet we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Sounds fun. What did you want to talk about? Xion! Uh, I... Uh, nothing! We were just playing around. Really?